Hi, my name is Surush Parsa and I'm an entomologist at SIAT, the International Center for Tropical Agriculture. I'm Vivian Ortiz, also from the International Center for Tropical Agriculture. And I am Fernando Vega from the United States Department of Agriculture. The overall objective of this video is to demonstrate how to facilitate and verify the establishment of a fungal entomopathogen as an endophyte. It is common in nature to find an insect or a mite infected with a pathogenic fungus. And there is a long history of using these fungal entomopathogens as biological pesticides. More recently, fungal entomopathogens have been occasionally found infecting plants, but without producing any apparent symptoms of their presence. This discovery signals their potential use as protective endophytes against agricultural pests. To explore this potential, it is first essential to develop an inoculation method that reliably establishes a fungal entomopathogen as an endophyte in a target crop. Bavaria bassiana is one of the best studied fungal entomopathogens, and it is readily available as a commercial biopesticide. This fungus has been detected as an endophyte in many plant species, including bananas, coffee, and maize. Recent evidence suggests that endophytic Bavaria bassiana has the potential to protect plants not only from arthropod pests, but also from some plant pathogens. The mechanisms explaining this broad spectrum protection are poorly understood. Still, endophytic Bavaria may hold promise for crops lacking genetic resistance to a pest or a pathogen, or for crops that typically suffer from the simultaneous attack of multiple enemies. The common bean, Faziolus vulgaris, is a prime example. It can be affected by more than...